Ready for the feature. And that off over a mile and a quarter in the Coolmore Stud Sotsas Harish EBF Moorsbridge Stakes. It's a group two. Featuring the first three home in the alleged and striding on early to lead a length is Greenland. From the grey white birch, just shading the second from Lord Masseuses at the back, the two fillies, Village Voice and Maxis. Just over a mile to go, in front is Greenland and ride more by under two lengths to White Birch and Colin Keane. Three parts of a link back to in third place, Lord Masseuses and Gary Carroll. And then Village Voice, Shane Foley with fifth of the five, Maxis and Dylan Brown McMonigal. In single file, soon to turn just outside the final seven furlongs. And it is Greenland taking them uphill, maintaining an advantage of a length and a half over White Birch. Third is Lord Masseuses, fourth is Village Voice, last of the quintet on rising ground is Max's. Order unchanged, heading towards the final six furlongs is Greenland. Tracked closely by White Birch and third in the starred colours is Lord Masseuses with the final couple, continuing on towards halfway Village Voice and Max's as they tighten up a fraction. Coming up to the halfway stage in the Coolmore Stud Sotsas Irish EBF Moorsbridge Stakes Group 2. Greenland almost joined by White Birch as they continue to tighten up. A link back to in third place Lord Masseuses and right on their heels both Village Voice and Maxis. Less than three lengths covering them now as they come up to the final half mile heading down for the approach to the straight. Greenland. Leads Natalie, White Birch, Village Voice, edges into third ahead of Lord Masseuses and then Maxis as they swing into the straight with three furlongs to go. Greenland, nudged along on the inside, is joined one from the rail by White Birch, tracked by Village Voice, then Lord Masseuses and Maxis, heading towards the final two furlongs, and Greenland is picked off by White Birch. Couple of lengths to Village Voice, now being called on for a run ahead of Lord Masseuses. Maxis stays in last with a furlong and a half to go, and it is White Birch in the lead, extends the advantage to two lengths over Greenland and Village Voice, followed then by Lord Masseuses, a gap to the trailing Maxis, but it's White Birch extending the advantage to over three lengths from Greenland. Lord Masseuses is next, and deep in the closing stages, White Birch follows up the alleged on reappearance with a win in the Moors Bridge boat coming here. Lord Masseuses, Greenland second and third. Let's see if Colin will have a quick chat with us here after White Birch won again. Colin, totally different race today. I know you were really pleased with him first time. Has he kind of shown you another string to his bow today? Yeah, I thought he was uh, very straightforward today. On, as I say, on paper, there wasn't a lot of pace, so we didn't want to turn into a total sprint. He jumped nicely and we rolled forward. And to be honest, it rolled like a piece of work for him. We had one horse to, to bring us into the straight. And from then on, we were happy to do our own thing. And I thought he ran straight and, and through the line. Uh, he handles that ground well, he, he's very effective over that trip. He, I'm sure he would go further, but it seems to be a good fit for him for the moment. It's been an excellent start to the season for him. What's your gut feeling about the next step? Because connections do have options. I, he'd like to think uh, a task goal cup could... It looks it looks the next the next logical step for him. If the ground came up right, if, if it wasn't too quick, uh, he seems to be a horse progressing back up to that level. Yeah, he's really going the right way. You've got one right left to come today, universally for Owen O'Neill. What are you hoping for there? Yeah, he looks look, he looks like a horse who he probably know, knows more about it than I do. But when uh, when he puts his best fo best foot forward, he can be very effective. Good man. We well, wish you well with that one. Thanks, Scott. Thank Cheers. you, guys. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.